ever wondered how it would feel to set goals based on your desired feelings rather than just outcomes? Welcome to the transformative world of The Desire Map, a groundbreaking book written by Danielle Laporte. Danielle is a celebrated author, speaker, and inspirational thought leader who has dedicated her life to motivating people to live authentically and passionately. Her revolutionary approach to goal setting, as outlined in The Desire Map, has changed countless lives and has been celebrated worldwide. The Desire Map is not just a book, it's a holistic way of life that upends traditional goal setting. But how? Well, it's simple, yet profound. Instead of focusing on the outcomes you want, Danielle encourages you to concentrate on the feelings you desire to experience. Imagine this, instead of setting a goal to lose 10 pounds, you set a goal to feel healthy and energetic. Instead of aiming to earn a six-figure salary, you aim to feel financially secure and content. It's a paradigm shift, isn't it? This approach focuses not just on the destination, but the journey itself and how you want to feel throughout it. The Desire Map is a guide to creating goals with soul. It's about crafting a life that doesn't just look good on the outside, but one that feels genuinely good on the inside. It's about making your life not just a list of achievements, but a journey of meaningful experiences. You see, in the hustle and bustle of life, we often lose sight of what truly matters, our feelings. We chase goals, thinking they'll bring us happiness, but often they leave us feeling empty and unfulfilled. The Desire Map flips this narrative by helping you create goals that are rooted in your desired feelings, ensuring that every step in your journey brings you joy and fulfillment. So, if you're tired of traditional goal setting and yearn for a more satisfying and soulful approach, the Desire Map is for you. It's more than a book, it's a roadmap to a more fulfilling life. If you want to know more about this enlightening approach to goal setting, stay tuned. Imagine setting your life goals based on how you want to feel. Intriguing, isn't it? This is the central proposition of Danielle Laporte's transformative book, The Desire Map a guide to creating goals with soul. Let's delve into this intriguing concept. Traditionally, we've always set goals based on what we want to achieve. Climbing the corporate ladder, purchasing a dream house, or running a marathon are common examples. However, Laporte suggests an innovative approach. Instead of focusing on the outcome, we should focus on the feelings we want to experience. She calls these our core desired feelings. Think about it. We don't want a new job for the sake of having a new job, do we? No, we want a new job because we believe it will make us feel accomplished, secure, or excited. We don't want to run a marathon just to say we did it, but because we believe it will make us feel strong, determined, or proud. It's not the achievement itself we're after, but the feelings that come with it. So instead of setting goals like get a promotion or buy a house, we should be setting goals like feel accomplished or feel secure. This way, we're not only more likely to achieve our goals, but we'll also feel more satisfied once we do. After all, what's the point of achieving a goal if it doesn't make us feel the way we want to? Laporte's concept is all about creating goals with soul. It's about recognizing that our feelings are the driving force behind our ambitions, and that by focusing on these feelings, we can achieve more fulfilling and satisfying outcomes. Instead of being driven by societal expectations or external pressures, we're guided by our own inner desires. This approach turns the traditional goal-setting process on its head. It's not about what you want to have, it's about how you want to feel. And when you start with the feeling, the path to achieving your goals becomes clearer, more focused, and ultimately, more rewarding. Now let's dive deeper into how this concept works. How do we go about setting goals based on feelings? It's a fascinating process. Imagine a world where your goals are not dictated by societal norms or external pressures, but are instead deeply rooted in how you want to feel. Danielle Laporte in her groundbreaking book, The Desire Map, introduces us to such a world. She outlines a unique process for setting these feeling-centric goals, a process that is as intriguing as it is transformative. At the heart of this process is the idea of focusing on your desired feelings. These are not fleeting emotions or passing whims, but deep-seated desires that resonate with your soul. Laporte believes that by focusing on these desired feelings, we can set goals that are more aligned with our true selves. 
The desire map process is structured around five key areas of life. These are livelihood and lifestyle, body and wellness, creativity and learning, relationships and society, and essence and spirituality. These areas serve as the foundation for setting your feeling-based goals, ensuring that they encompass all aspects of your life. Let's delve a little deeper into these areas. Livelihood and lifestyle encourages you to consider your career and the way you live. What feelings do you desire from your work and your everyday life? Body and wellness asks you to focus on your physical health and well-being. What feelings do you want to experience in your body and through your health? Next, we have creativity and learning. This area prompts you to think about your intellectual growth and creative expression. What feelings do you desire from your learning and creative pursuits? Relationships and society encourages you to consider your connections with others and your place in the world. What feelings do you want to cultivate in your relationships and your societal interactions? Finally, essence and spirituality asks you to delve into the deepest parts of your being. What feelings do you desire from your spiritual journey and your connection with your essence? By focusing on these five areas and identifying your desired feelings within each, you can create goals that resonate with your soul. This is the beauty of the desire map process. With this process, you can align your goals with your soul. What could be the advantage of setting goals this way? Let's uncover the benefits. When we set goals based on how we want to feel, we invite an elevated level of satisfaction into our lives. This is because our focus is shifted from what we think we need to achieve to how we want to experience life. It's about moving away from the rigid success parameters set by the world around us and instead crafting our own metrics of success. This isn't about just checking off boxes. It's about ensuring that each check mark brings us joy, contentment and fulfillment. An additional benefit of this approach is the alignment with personal values. Traditional goal-setting methods often overlook this crucial aspect, focusing more on the end result rather than the journey. But when we set our goals based on desired feelings, we're inherently aligning them with our values. This leads to a life that feels authentic and true to who we are, rather than one that's molded by societal expectations or norms. Moreover, setting goals based on desired feelings can lead to improved wellness and happiness. When our goals resonate with our soul, we are more likely to nurture our emotional well-being. We become more self-aware, recognizing what truly makes us happy and what doesn't, thus enabling us to make better decisions for our mental and emotional health. With the Desire Map, it's not just about achieving goals, but about how these goals make you feel. It's about experiencing the journey rather than just reaching the destination. This approach also encourages resilience. When the focus is on the desired feeling, setbacks and obstacles become less daunting as they're seen as part of the journey towards that feeling, not as roadblocks to a predefined outcome. Ultimately, the desire map offers a refreshing approach to goal setting. It's about making the process more human, more personal. It's about setting goals that are not just about the doing, but also about the being. Your goals can truly resonate with your soul, leading you towards a more fulfilling life. As we wrap up, let's reflect on the transformative power of setting goals with soul. We've journeyed through the essence of the desire map, a unique approach to goal setting that places your deepest desires at the core of your ambitions. This isn't just another self-help book, it's a blueprint for meaningful change. We've delved into the core concept, understanding that how we want to feel is the most potent clarity we can have. It's about aligning our goals with our heart's true desires, making every step towards those goals a joyful journey. It's not about what we want to do or have, it's about how we want to feel. We've walked through the desire map process, a journey that begins with introspection, acknowledging our desired feelings, and then setting goals that are in tune with these feelings. It's a paradigm shift, a new way of navigating life's path. The beauty of this approach is that it's flexible, personal, and deeply empowering. We've also explored the benefits of the desire map. It's not just about achieving goals, it's about living a life that resonates with our deepest desires. It's about feeling good every step of the way. It's about living with intention, authenticity, and soul. 
the desire map by the insightful Danielle Laporte invites us to re-envision our lives, to set goals that truly light us up, and to live every day in alignment with our deepest desires. It's a powerful tool that can bring more joy, authenticity, and soulful living into our lives. So as we conclude, remember that your feelings matter in your journey towards your goals. Embrace them, honor them, and let them guide you. If you want to create goals with soul, the desire map could be your guide. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. Remember, your feelings matter in your journey towards your goals.